Hello everyone and welcome to week 11 of the NFL 1957 replay and we are at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum for the Los Angeles Rams against the Green Bay Packers ready for fourth quarter action and even though neither of these two teams can get through to the championship we've got 70,572 fans on in the stands ready for fourth quarter actions but let's do what we always do at the start and go through the previous week round 10 of the 57 season and Detroit beat the Packers which put the Packers out of contention the Baltimore Pants Colts similarly beat the Los Angeles Rams and put them out of contention. The New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers tied, which ended the Giants' interest in this year's uh, championship. Cleveland Browns beat the Cardinals to go 9-1. and one. The Chicago Bears surprisingly beat the Washington Redskins and leapfrogged them, so... They're not the bottom of the East Division anymore. And the Philadelphia Eagles beat Pittsburgh. And that result condemned both teams. And so in the East, the Cleveland Browns, with a 9-1 record so far, <coughs> are the champions of the East. Philadelphia are in second. And Pittsburgh and New York on 4-5-1. The Cardinals on three and seven, and the Washington Redskins on two and eight. In the West, Detroit Lions on eight and two, Baltimore Colts on seven and three, and San Francisco 49ers six, three, and one are the only three teams left in contention. The Packers and the Rams are four and six, so this game really is for the right to move into fourth place. And the Chicago Bears, well, they're down at the bottom on two and eight, and that's where they will most likely finish. So, let's go and find out what the current score is. And as you can see, it's a pretty obvious one-horse race at the moment with the Rams leading the Packers by 24 points to nil. Let's go through the scoring sequence or the events of the the day in the first at 11 15 fred Cohn from green bay missed a 45 yard field goal then at 7 30 tommy wilson with a three yard run for the rams converted by page cothran to give them a seven point lead and at 4 4 30 in the first a six-yard run by Joe Marconi gave them a 14 to nothing lead. In the second, at 14.45, a 43-yard field goal missed, this time by Paige Cawthron. And at eight minutes, with Green Bay on the Los Angeles one-yard line, on fourth and goal, they went for a screen pass and it was incomplete, so they turned the ball over. That led to an eight-minute drive ending up on the seven yard the, the five yard line of green bay and page cothran ended the half with a 12 yard field goal and a 17 to nothing lead in the third at 755 a five yard run by joe Mar marconi and a conversion by page cothran Gives us a score of 24 to nothing, but as time expired, Frank Fuller, the defensive tackle for Los Angeles, was injured. And what we are left with is Green Bay, uh, fourth and 27 at their own 24 yard line. So the game is going to start. The fourth period will start off with a punt. And so out will come 
Dick Duchesne for the Packers to take the punt. The other information, Packers are minus one. Los Angeles Rams are plus four. And a minus two on the Y and a, and a plus one on the Y for the two teams, as, as you can see on the screen. So the referee gets the fourth period underway and we're going we're gonna to get an unusual result on the punt at the start of the game. And let's see what that unusual result is. It's a 44-yard punt, but there is a flag on the play. So the punt all the way down to the 32 of the Rams, and it's going to be returned by Corky Taylor. Let's put that dice there so we know where that's coming from. <clears throat> and the return... Is going to be a 19-yard return, so a very good return to the 49-yard line of the Green Bay Packers. But what is the penalty? Ineligible receiver downfield on the offense. That penalty is declined. First down, the Rams. So, ineligible downfield against the Packers, and the Rams will ignore that. And with a lead of 24, they're going to use box D. So, we're going to go with these because it's such a big lead. So, it's going to be an inside run against a blitz. So out comes Norm Van Brooklyn with his Rams. Oh, let's put these down here because you like them down here. So Van Brooklyn and the Rams come out inside run against a blitz and it's going to be handed off to Will Younger. Is EA a zero run? He's not. So Younger will go to the XR column. GA or GB a zero run? No and no. So it gets eight yards before being tackled and brings up second down and two at the Green Bay 41. Inside run against the safe defense. So Van Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off again to Tank Younger. Is the quarterback a zero run? He's not. And so he bowls over for a three-yard gain in the first down. So the Rams who've dominated this game continue to dominate it on the ground. First down and 10 at the 38 of the Packers. Outside run against a run defense. Van Brooklyn takes the snap, hands it off to Tommy Wilson. Is F a two run? He's not. Is he rated a zero? Well, in this situation, he is. So it's an XR column for Tommy Wilson. EB a zero run. He's not. And so he breaks through three and gets nine yards down to the 29 yard line of the Packers. Second and one. <clears throat> Rams looking to add to their score inside run against the Blitz. And the Packers have not been able to stop this run defense, this run offense of the Rams. Van Brooklyn drops back, hands the ball off to Tank Younger. Doing a lot of work at the start of this. Is CE a two run? He's not. So 
the blitz gets to them and he loses three yards back to the 32 but the clock continues to run which is the friend of the rams and the enemy of the packers third down and four outside run against the blitz so van brooklyn looking over the defense takes the snap hands the ball off to run waller unusual result a two yard loss but there is a penalty on the play offsides on the offense five yard penalty replay third down so they'll push them back the packers take the penalty and push them back third down and seven third down and nine sorry so a short pass against a safe defense when brooklyn takes the snap drops back and he's looking for leon clark is b a zero pass he's not a zero pass so we're going to go to the y chart so we're looking at a y of eight y of nine uh, yes a y of the y of nine sorry and so it's going to be intercepted seven yards down the field at the 30 yard line and that interception is going to be by bobby dylan and dylan will return it up and he's tripped up after return of eight yards out to their own 38 yard line so green bay packers Turn the ball over and take the ball first and 10 at their own 38. They're going to be using box A. So a screen pass against a run to start off. As Bart Starr comes out with his troops trying to put something on the board. And he takes the snap and he's looking... For Ron Kramer, his K0 pass is not. Have they got an offensive lineman of two? Yes, they have. So it's incomplete. And second down and 10 at their own. 38 yard line they're gonna go long against a pass defense <clears throat> so star trying to get something going here drops back looking for billy houghton is g a zero pass he's not so the quarterback is sacked for a loss of 12 yards and again this is what's been the issue third down and a long long way third down and 22 third and 22 so long pass against a pass bart star trying to get something going takes the snap and again he's going to look for billy houghton and again his h to zero pass he's not so it's off the receiver's hand and incomplete but there is a flag on the play Holding on the offense, half the distance to the goal line, repeat third down. So they're going to push them back to the 13 yard line. And it will be third and 35. Third and 35. So it's going to be a long pass against the pass again. 
Bart Starr drops back and he's looking for Max McGee. Is EA a zero pass? He is not. So they're going to go to the XL column, but there is a flag on the play. Is C a two pass? No. So he's going to make 38 yards and a first down. But what's this flag? Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Replay third down. Oh, disaster for the Packers. So they're now third and 38. That would have been a first down. So long pass against a blitz this time. Star gets the completion, but unfortunately the whistle had blown. He drops back and he's looking again for Billy Houghton. See he a two pass. Yes, he is. So he's going XL. Is the quarterback's X great better than eight? No, it is not. So he gets 36 yards. Out to their own 39, but they're still nine yards short, so the punter's going to have to come out. So out comes Dick Deshane. There's a bad snap, but the punter gets the kick off. And he gets a kick of 42 yards, which isn't bad. For the snap that he got out to the 19 yard line of the Rams, it's going to be returned by Ron Waller. And he will be hit right at the 19 yard line, so he's not going to get it returned. He did a little jink trying to find some space, but the Packers were ready for it and. The Rams lead 24 to nothing on their own 19-yard line. First and 10, inside run against the safe. They're just going to keep it on the ground as much as they can. Van Brocklin takes the snap, hands the ball off to Tommy Wilson. And it's an unusual result. No game, but there is a flag on the play and an injury. Let's have a look at the injury first. <clears throat> and it could be to... Our offensive tackle, Ken Parniff. Pan Panfil. And he's going to be taken out... For the rest of the series here, so Ken Panfield will come out of the game while they give him a little bit of TLC. Let's have a look at the penalty. Holding on the offense. Half distance to the goal. Replay first down. <coughs> So the Rams, first and 20 at the nine. Inside run against a blitz. And Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off to, Tank Wils uh, to Tommy Wilson. Is EB a zero run? He's not. So he's going to go to the XR column. TA or TB, a zero run. No and no. So he gets nine yards out to the 18-yard line, bringing up second down. And 11. Inside run against the safe. So again, staying on the ground. It's been very successful for him during this game. When Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off 
to Tank Younger. GB or QB, a two run. No and no. So Younger elbows his way and gets two yards. 9.15 remaining, third down and nine. To the Rams at their own 20. Leading by 24 to nothing. Short pass against a pass defence. So Van Brooklyn takes the snap. Looking to complete to Leon Clark. Is G a two pass? He's not. Is he a zero pass? He's not. So it's incomplete and bringing up fourth down. And that will bring out punter, who is the quarterback, Norm Van Brooklyn. So he will come out and punt the ball away. <coughs> so he takes the snap. Unusual result on a punt. It's going to be a 42-yard punt, but there is a flag on the play. So it goes down to the 38-yard line of the Packers, and it's going to be returned... by Al Carmichael. And he will return it just four yards. But what is this penalty? Personal foul. On the defence prior to the kick. 15-yard penalty. First down to the Rams. So that's all going to come back and bring the ball out to the 35-yard line. And the Rams will continue their drive. First and 10. <coughs> at their own 35. So it's going to be an outside run against a run defence. You can expect... This to be the pattern for the rest of this game, really, from the Rams. So Van Brooklyn takes the ball, hands the ball off to Joe Marconi. His A a two run is not. His A rated zero is not. So it gets four yards. Marconi brings up second down and six, but 8.15 remaining. There's not going to be enough time for the Packers to do anything about this, but they can try and get something out of it. Outside run against a run, so the same play. Van Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off to John Arnett, who is a B. So he'll get no gain, and it's going to be third down, 7.45 remaining. <coughs> Rams in control, running this clock down. Inside run against a run defence. Third and six. When Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off to Tommy Wilson. Is the quarterback a two run? He is not. So Wilson bulls through the hole for a yard. So it bring up fourth down. And the punter will come out, so Van Brooklyn will stay on the field to carry out his punting duties. Ball is snapped. Van Brooklyn takes it in his hands. Is his return a D, E, or an F? It is not. So there's going to be no return, but there is a flag on the play after a 45-yard punt. Down to the 15-yard line. So what's this flag? Ineligible receiver downfield prior to the kick on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Replay fourth down. So they're going to make them kick the ball again. 
hopefully to get a better field position. So once again, Van Brocklin takes the snap. And again, he gets a 45-yard punt. But once again, there is another flag on the play. An eligible receiver downfield prior to the snap on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Replay fourth down, third down. So they're now back at the 25-yard line and two in a row now that they've managed to have a receiver downfield. Coach is not happy with his offensive line. So Van Brooklyn will once again get a kick off. And his punt is going to sail out of bounds after a 39-yard punt down to the 36 of the Packers. And it'll be first down and 10 to the Packers at their own 36. Coach would not be happy if this was a close game. But let's see what's happening. We're using box C here. Medium pass against a pass defense. So Bart Starr takes the snap. And he's looking to complete to Billy Houghton. Is SB a zero pass? He's not. So he gets the ball is completed to Houghton for 19 yards. A great catch and run. So first down to the Packers at the 45-yard line of the Rams. First and 10 at the Rams 45. It's going to be a long pass against a pass defense. Trying to get something out of this game. Trying to get a score. So Bart Stars takes the snap. 21 on an A. Incomplete. But the defender is flagged for pass interference. So pass interference. And that has occurred. 29 yards down the field. At the 16-yard line of the Rams. And it's going to be first down and 10 to the Packers. 6.15 remaining. First and 10. Can they get on the scoreboard? So medium pass against a pass. Star takes the snap. Drops back. Looks to complete to Al Carmichael. It's H0 pass. He's not. Is FB a zero pass? He is. So he's going to be sacked. He's going to lose nine yards out to the 25-yard line. And the sack is by Les Richter. Second down. And 19 at the 25 of the Rams. Long pass against a pass defence. So Starr takes the snap, looking for Max McGee. D or C, a two pass. No and no. So it's complete. We're going to the XL column. Is the quarterback's X rating greater than one? Yes, it is. So X, the McGee takes a catch and breaks away from the defense. And he gets a 25-yard touchdown pass from Bart Starr. So they get on the board, which is good for the Packers. And Fred Cohn... 65 on triple a i think that's still going to be a good kick but we'll check it out the kick is good <coughs> so 
With six, with five minutes and 30 seconds remaining, the Packers get on the board. And Fred Cohn will come out to kick the ball off. And they'll get a 52-yard kick down to the eight-yard line. It's going to be returned by John Arnett. Eighteen yards to the twenty-six yard line of the Rams. Five fifteen remaining in this game. First and ten. <coughs> the Rams at their own twenty-six yard line. Outside run against a run, and again they're just going to keep it on the ground. Let this time run out. Van Brooklyn takes the snap, hands it off to Joe Marconi. Marconi is a D on an outside run. And he'll lose a yard. He'll be hit behind the line of scrummage. Second down and 11. Under five minutes to play now. And it's going to be an inside run against a run, keeping it. Still on the ground. Time, time, ticking away. Enemy of the Packers. Van Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off to John Arnett. His H0 run. He is not. So again, another loss. The Packers have suddenly, the defense have suddenly come to the party. Much too late. Third and 14. At their own 22. So a medium pass against a pass defense. When Brooklyn takes the pass, looks to complete to John Arnett. When Brooklyn is a D completion and it's going to be incomplete. Bring up fourth down. And so Van Brooklyn will take over punting responsibilities. Ball is snapped and Brooklyn takes the ball and there's no pressure to, and he gets off a 50-yard punt. Down to the 28-yard line of the Packers and standing there is Al Carmichael. And Carmichael will return it, but he'll be chased down and he'll actually go two yards back before he stops and he's tackled. So with 3.45 remaining, the Packers have the ball first and 10 at their own 26, trailing 7 to 24. And we're under five minutes left in this game. So medium pass against a pass defence. Bart Starr staying in the air. <coughs> it's the only way he's going to put any score on the board at this late stage. Let's roll those again because that dice is the wrong one. So Starr takes a snap and he's looking for Howie Ferguson. Is GB a zero pass? Yes, he is. Is JOK a zero pass? No. So the quarterback star is sacked for a loss of six yards, second down and 16. And again, no offense from the Packers. Long pass against a pass defense. Star takes the snap and he's looking for Billy Houghton. EB a zero pass. No. So the quarterback gets rid of the ball and it's incomplete, bringing up third down and 16. So it's going to be medium pass against the pass defense. Bart Starr calling the signals, takes the ball and he's looking for Howie Ferguson. SB a zero pass. No. So it gets it complete to Ferguson for seven yards, not enough. And we're down to two minutes 30 and a fourth down. And at this point, 
They're going to go for it on fourth and nine. So it's a screen pass against the pass defense. Star takes the snap and he's looking for Billy Houghton. It's F a zero pass. He is not. It's completed, but it's going to be hauled down for no gain. And so the turnover will occur at the Packers 27 yard line. And Van Brooklyn will bring his troops out first and 10 at the Packers 27. And it's going to be an outside run against a run defense. Van Brooklyn takes the snap and hands the ball off to Tommy Wilson. D or B, a zero run, no, and yes. So there's no gain, but the defense is offside. So offside, defense, five-yard penalty, replay first down. And that will also bring up the two-minute warning in this game. I don't think there's going to be much stopping of the ball by the Packers. First and five at the Packers' 22-yard line. So an outside run against a blitz. Van Brooklyn with the ball, hands the ball off to John Arnett. Is K a two-run? He is not. So Arnett goes to the XR column. Is F a two run? No, he's not. And he gets nine yards on the first down, down to the 11 yard line. 25 seconds comes off the clock. First down and 10 <coughs> to the Rams at the 11 yard line of the Packers. And they're going to try a pass. They're going to try a short pass. Sorry, a medium pass against a blitz. So Van Brooklyn steps back and looks for Joe Marconi. Van Brooklyn is a D on a 16 and it's going to be incomplete. Second down. 125 remaining. Second down and 10. At the Packers 11 yard line, outside run against a run, going back to the ground. They obviously, want to score again. So Van Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off to Tommy Wilson, who is an A. 13 on an A is going to get him nine yards down to the two yard line, bringing up third and one. And we're one minute away from the end of the game. Third and one at the Packers two. Inside run against a blitz. So Van Brooklyn takes the snap, hands the ball off to Tank Younger. SB a zero run. No, he's not. So he's going to go to the XR column. Is H a two run? He's not. So he gets the two yards and into the end zone. Bringing up 30 points. And Paige Cuthren kicks the extra point to make the score 31 points to seven. And we have 50 seconds left. So Paige Cuthren will kick the ball off. Unusual result. Didn't we just know it? It's a 41. Sorry, that's not true with a kickoff, is it? Let's have a look. What number is it? We had 44. Travels 60 yards to the primary German kicking team at offsides. So they're going to take the five yard and make them re kick. 
So the kickoff this time on an E. It's going to be 65 yards, so it's back to the goal line. And that is going to be returned by Al Carmichael. And he will return it 15 yards, so he gets it back out to the 15. And 40 seconds left in this game. First down and 10 to the Packers at their own 15-yard line. Long pass against the pass, so they're still going to keep it, trying to score something. Star takes the snap. Drops back, and he's looking... For Gary Nafelk is the quarterback a zero pass? He is a zero pass. So it's going to be incomplete. Second down, 30 seconds remaining. Bart Starr going long again against the pass defense. And this time he's going to look again for Gary Knaflik. It's H0 pass. He is not. So the quarterback is dragged down for a loss of 13 yards back to their own two-yard line. And that leaves us with five seconds remaining on the last play of the game. And it's going to be a medium pass against a pass defense. Star drops back, looks for Max McGee. Is F a zero pass? He is not. And the, quarter, the quarterback is swarmed over and it's into its own end zone and a safety, but there is a flag on the play. So the result of the play is a safety. Let's see what this flag is. Holding on the offense. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a safety. And time has expired. So the game is over. So there you have it. Unusual end to the game, but really didn't make a lot of difference. The game was already way past the Green Bay Packers. And so the final safety on the last play Gives us the score here from the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. The Green Bay Packers 7 and the Los Angeles Rams 33. So I hope you've enjoyed this game. We've got the last week of the regular season next and we will be in New York where the New York Giants will take the championship bound Cleveland Browns. And so hopefully you'll join me for that. And until then, good night.